Hi, my fabulous second graders. Uh, I know we're stuck at home, but we can keep on learning. I'm excited to welcome you to my YouTube channel where we will be doing reading, writing, math, all the things we usually do, but just here on the internet. So to kind of kick off this YouTube channel, I'm gonna read one of our favorites, Llama Destroys the World, because I know it feels like the end of the world, but it's not really. So, Llama Destroys the World by Jonathan Stutzman. I am Llama. On Friday, Llama will destroy the world. I am Llama. Proclaimed Llama. Monday. On Monday, Llama found cake. Piles of cake. More cake than any Llama should ever eat. That, said Llama. He loves his cake. Llama ate all of the cake. And this was his first mistake. It was an honest mistake. It was a delicious mistake. One of those mistakes that leads to more mistakes and eventually the ultimate doom of everything. Tuesday. Tuesdays were for dancing. So Llama put on his dancing pants. The pants did not fit. He was still full of cake, but he never danced without his dancing pants. They made his butt look groovy. So Llama huffed and puffed and squeezed and stuffed himself into the pants. And this was his second mistake. And then Llama danced. He jiggled, he tangoed, he cha cha real smooth. And his rhythm was perfect, his moves were precise. But the pants never stood a chance. Rip. A big onomatopoeia here. Rip. The rip was thunderous. It shook the house, the trees, the mountains. It shook the very fabric of the universe. The cosmic vibrations from the ripping pants were so mighty that a black hole tore open. Wednesday. On Wednesday, Llama found the black hole. That, said Llama. He had never seen a black hole before. He didn't know what it could be or what it could do. But Llama was a llama of science. He knew the answers were out there waiting to be discovered. He had a science crew. Llama read books. He ran complex experiments. He debated with the greatest minds and thinkers he could find. And then he analyzed that data and came to a well thought out conclusion. That said Llama wisely. Instead of warning the world of its imminent doom, Llama decided to do something more important. He made a bologna and cheese sandwich with extra cheese. And this was his third mistake. Thursday. On Thursday, many signs of doom appeared in the sky. Flying top hats, soaring teacups, twisting, tumbling, well-dressed turtles. But Llama didn't notice. Did you notice the alliteration? Thursdays were for painting and Llama was busy, busy painting his latest masterpiece. The end was near. Friday! On Friday, the world ended. The more the black hole sucked in, the bigger and stronger it grew. The animals flew, the pizzas and bicycles and houseplants flew, and Llama flew too. I am Llama! The black hole swallowed everything up, every single thing left in the world, everything left in the universe. Until there was nothing. Little dot. I am Llama. Saturday. On Saturday, on the other side of the black hole, Everything was fine. The universe tumbled out exactly as it had been before. Even Llama. I am Llama, proclaimed Llama. The sky was blue, the sun was shining, the world was perfectly calm like nothing had ever happened. And on Sunday, on Sunday, with the world back to normal, Llama found something wonderful. Piles of pie. 
more pie than any llama should ever eat. That, said llama. Llama ate all of the pie. I hope you enjoyed reading that story with me and I hope you stay safe and happy during this time. I will be here with more videos throughout the weeks to come. Have a fabulous today, second grade.